You'll learn true and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and it's time for another ship video. But before I get into the topic, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. The channel is doing so well in, in such a short time that I set myself quite an ambitious goal to reach a thousand subscribers until the end of the year and you can help achieving that by being a part of it. And of course, thanks to everyone who already subscribed and who's watching my video all the time. It's just an amazing journey at the moment. But after talking about the USS Hydra and the Bachor recently, I cannot leave out the Vortavor. And so to finish that set, so to speak, we have the Vortavor today. That's a Romulan miner and it's a rare four star ship like the USS Hydra and the Bachor. The ability is an ore mining laser. That means the mining rate of ore is increased by 120%. You see that the number is in green, which always means when you level and tear up the ship, the um, numbers will even change. And the good thing is that it has a good base warp range. In my case, it's 95 already to help you mine in dark space. I call this dark space because that's what the mission is called to get there. Um, and to mine four star ore. There's four star gas, crystal and ore, but the um, water war of course is best to mine four star ore. You also can mine three and two star ore with it, no problem. I sometimes do that, especially now that I got my Romulans a bit down again because I decided to go to Guardian with the Klingons before taking up the Romulans. And uh, so I need, for the dailies, I need three star ore, but it works with the water war very well. You need 150 blueprints for it. And they are not that hard to get. First of all, you have the usual um, ways of doing that. One is the faction store. And we quickly go to the Romulans, which are, as I said, a bit down <laughs> at the moment. So I cannot get them via the faction store, but I already got the water war. Here, once you reach admired, I think on one of my last videos I said it, uh, that's that happens when you are past that level for quite some time. It's 100, 140 million. Yeah, I think it's a 50 million where you are admired. And from there, you can get the Water War uh, class blueprints. But you also need a level 41 shipyard to build it. So before that, you cannot build the Water War. But I didn't buy them here. And so the I already have one and I have 66 more water war blueprints for a completely different reason. And that's not the other way you usually can get blueprints from. That's the away team store. You will probably know by now where you can get ship blueprints. You see, I don't have the Hydra here and I don't have the water war here because I don't have the reputation. But once you're very close to the needed reputation, you will find it here. That's why I find the Bachor in here, because my Klingon reputation is high enough. But I also don't buy them in the away team store, but you can if you want to have it faster. But the easiest way to do this is by grinding. And this game is so much about grinding, I know. And, and at some point we just have had three days of faction hunt, then you're really done with grinding. But this game anyway is a marathon and not a sprint, as I always say. And so you will keep working on it if you enjoy this game and want to keep playing. I have to do a lot of grinding, grinding, grinding. And uh, when I write it on our Alliance chat, I always put some notes behind it, some musical notes, so that everybody will have it in their head, like rolling, 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 you know this. I will not start to sing. That would uh, make a lot of people run away. So don't even try to do it. No, Murgi, I won't. But if you go to Romulus, and if you've seen my two videos, the ones with the Open Secret and Open Secret 2, it's an open secret because you can hunt those Romulan transports and heavy Romulan transports. This time it works that's, that they are there. When I did it on the Hydra, the Federation ones were hiding. But you see the Romulan transport and the heavy Romulan transport, the level 49. I made two videos how you can very early start grinding these. If you've seen them, you're probably on them already. And if you haven't seen them um, and you are still on the beginnings with your three star epic ships, 
that's the point to watch those videos and start grinding those hostiles. When you grind hostiles here in Romulus, until you have a hundred of those PVE chests, those loot chests, don't mix anything else in from other hostiles from auto level or whatever. Just try to get a pure hundred chests from Romulus. Then you will definitely get, i never seen something else, you definitely will get several um, water war blueprints from that. The best one I had was uh, with one pull of a hundred chests was seven water war blueprints and seven out of 150 is quite a number already. I know it's a grind, I know it's it's not some speed round or whatever, but this is the easiest way to get those blueprints and you will like the water war. Mine is not upgraded that much because I need tons of materials for other ships and for my ops at the moment to reach a certain priorities that I've set to myself. But it's already at warp 110. I can easily go to dark space to mine four star or and it's 2.3 million power. That means that not every other player on the, on the server can shoot it down easily. And so it's a very helpful ship. And in the end, I will have all three as well, although I'm already working on the next step. But they are very helpful miners. And I can just uh, only suggest that you get them when you get there and can grind them. Talking about priorities. This game, of course, demands a lot of materials for everything. So you have to set priorities for yourself. At some point, for me, it is... Um, to upgrade a certain ship, to achieve certain points with missions, for example, that I'm finally able to do certain missions. And at the moment, I'm, I've changed my priorities for a certain time back to the ops because um, my reputation with the Klingons is at a certain point where I need a certain shipyard. And that means that I shift my priorities back to the ops now. And other times it can be research. So I suggest you never try to do everything at once. Set yourself certain priorities of what you want to achieve. There's so much grinding involved in this game. It's a fun game, otherwise I wouldn't play it and I wouldn't make the videos about it. But there are priorities that are needed. You cannot play 24 seven. And so you have to set priorities for yourself what you want to achieve next. And that's how I do it. And that's um, how it's doable by not spending time on uh, the game 24-7. Uh, I still have to work, as you can see right now. This is not uh, part of my work yet, so to speak, because um, this you haven't seen any ads that I get paid for. But um, my other work requires a lot of my, my time uh, on my main channel and so on. So that's why I'm filming always one day a week on, on this channel. Um, for the videos for, for, for a week because I don't have more time to do this at the moment. But um, it is quite a demanding game if you want to play a lot. But so if you don't have the time because you have to work, for example, then uh, you have to set these priorities. And it will still be fun. It will still work. And uh, it will help you concentrate on one thing without losing um, you had on everything that's going on in this game. And uh, sometimes, of course, it helps to um, purchase something. I know there are players that are completely playing without paying. There are some players that are paying fortunes, which is good for, for the rest of us because of them. Scopely is keeping up that game and it would be bad if they would stop making this game. So. Um, we really have to appreciate that that, that there are players like this because it's a business. Scopely needs to make money with this, otherwise they wouldn't do the game. Otherwise we wouldn't have this fun. So I'm not complaining about that um, there are certain things you need to buy or if you want to have things faster you need to pay money. I only paid a very decent amount before I started making these videos. Now for you to make those videos, I have to um, invest a little bit more into this game than I did before. Um, I cannot do everything I would like to because um, I'm not making fortunes in my everyday job. So um, I have to balance that out. And sometimes 
it was really nice that I got help from from some very nice people like friends who invested something um, on my birthday into that game, for example, or um, there is a link in my description under every video. There's my PayPal me, for example, um, where every single dollar counts um, for helping um, making more content of the uh, on this channel. So um, if you ever thought about supporting, just have a look there. For example, there are the first members of this channel first, which I want to thank a lot as well. There were the first super chats I, I'm really grateful for. So every little help is appreciated. That helps me make some more content I otherwise couldn't make because I do have limits of what I can spend on this game. Um, so it's not easy. And I really don't know how some people do that that are far ahead of me on my server, for example. I They must have spent a lot of money in, in five digits, God knows what, um, to get there. But that's nothing I can do. So um, I can not show you everything yet on this server because of that. But I think we got quite far. Um, with the levels. I know that I have a lot of people who are just starting the game that are watching my videos, which I'm uh, quite happy to to help. That's why I'm always injecting those videos with topics for for complete starters that have never played before. I know it's boring for some people who played more often and so but I need to balance that for for because everyone is welcome and everyone should find the help they need here on the server and the appropriate advice. And so I'm also happy every time when I make a video to get some comments from, from experienced players that want to add something to what I said in the video. I'm making them on the go. So um, there's no script with teleprompter up there where I'm reading from like on, on uh, my main channel where it's about serious topics where everything has to be detailed with with very important facts I must never forget um, including into the video and so on if I forget something here this game is supposed to be fun I want to have you still have fun watching the videos and not be so sincere and uh, having a very serious video and um, of course I might forget something so I'm always happy about the players and viewers that are watching and adding something if I forgot something can always happen. Or if you have questions, they are always welcomes in the uh, welcome in the comments as well. Or if you have requests for a video, just let me know. I do read the comments regularly. That's why I'm also happy if you just want to say hi and where you're from, because I'm also curious and would like to know where the people are coming from from all over the planet that are watching my videos. And if you want to watch another video right now. The next one is right here in the end screen, by the way, next to the button where you still have the chance to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you there. I'll be back.